you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Hello, it's Mr. T here with a math tutorial. Today our topic is fitting an exponential model to data. Uh, this is part of a series on exponential and logarithm functions. The model we're going to be using uh, earlier in the series we used the general model y equals ab to the x. Today we're going to be using the general model y equals ce to the kt. This is very similar to our continuously compounded interest formula. All we've done is generalized our letters so y could be so that we're not just doing banking problems. So y could be any uh, value. C, like P, is our initial amount. And K is our growth or decay constant. K is going to essentially be the percentage growth or decay on an annual basis uh, where the growth is continuous growth or continuous decay. Uh, when we are working these, uh, when k is positive, it's an exponential growth, and when k is negative, it's exponential decay. So let's look at an application problem of this. We have an experiment where we have fruit flies, which are multiplying, and you might know from maybe your kitchen when you've bought fruit or other, or from biology class, fruit flies uh, multiply quite rapidly, at least as long as there's food around. Uh, in this example, we are given a two data points, so we know the number of fruit, fruit flies, which would be our y, y value and time 1, and we know a second time, a y2 and a t2, and we want to come up with an exponential model and then use that to predict how many flies we will have in 8 days. So let's look at this example in a little bit more detail. So again, we're told or we are assuming by knowing the way uh, things work in biology that we want to use an exponential model, in this case exponential growth. And we're going to use the model that we just discussed on the previous slide. Now in this model we have two unknowns. So when you're trying to solve an equation with two unknowns, we need uh, two data points to find both letters. So if we plug in our first data point, we get uh, 100 for y equals c. We don't know c, e, and we don't know k. So this is going to be k times our initial time. And let's do the second equation in a different color. So here we know 300 is c e to the k times 4. Now, one of the techniques that we have when we are solving systems of equations here, we have two unknowns and two equations, is the substitution method. So I'm going to solve this equation for the letter c. So I get c equals 100 over e to the 2k. And I can substitute that into the other equation and then use that to solve for k. So if we substitute over here, we've got 300. And now we're substituting in our c value. And that's then times e to the 4k, if I just switch those letters around. Now using exponent properties, when we have two exponential terms with the same base being divided, we subtract the exponents. So we've got 300 equals 100 times e to the 2k. And to solve an exponential function, we want to get the exponential part by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 100. So I've got 3 equals e to the 2k. And then from our lesson on solving exponential functions, we can take the logarithm of both sides. 
and using our log properties this exponent comes to the front so we're going to have 2k times the lin of e but you should remember that the lin of e is just 1 so we get lin of 3 equals 2k and if we divide that by 2 we get k equals the lin of 3 over 2 as our exact value and if we put that into decimal and a calculator we get approximately 0.5493. Now since we're going to be doing a numerical problem here I'm going to ultimately uh, use that as decimal. Now we haven't found our um, exponential model yet. We found the value for k so we have to find the value for c. So we have to put this k back into our equation here to find c. So c is going to be 100 over e to the 2 times 0.5493. I'm using uh, the decimal uh, approximation here. And if I calculate this using a calculator, I get c is approximately 33. So when we started, we had approximately 33 uh, fruit flies. So now we have uh, we can write our model. So our model for this is y equals 33 e to the 0.5493t. So on a continuous fashion, the uh, fruit flies are growing at 55% per year, or I guess t here is days. So 55 uh, percent per day so they more than they almost double uh, and I'm sorry they increase by 55 percent per day let's not try to explain that any differently that's pretty simple all right so now we want to so we've answered our model this is the model and now we want to use that to plug in t being eight days so we just have to calculate here, putting t in for, I mean, 8 for the t. And we can get a calculator out to calculate that, and we get y is approximately 2,673. It's a 7. Uh, fruit flies after 8 days, and that's our final answer. So good luck in using exponential functions to model real-world data and see you around. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you